Hi everyone. So I'm just going to show you today some of the other accessories and things that I've made for some of my paper guns. So uh, this video is going to be all about the suppressor. So uh, this this is the first gun that I made. It's just a basic paper pistol. Uh, go check out the full video on this if you want to uh, see it better and learn more about it. Today we're just going to talk about the silencer on this. Another one that I have, which is a lot bigger and uh, a whole bunch wider, is the suppressor that I made for my MP5 submachine gun. So this MP5 has this silencer that goes on the front. And that's about like uh, the size of the real one that they use. So uh, that just goes on the end of the rifle, on the end of the submachine gun. So I'm just going to sh uh, show you guys how you make this. So uh, the suppressor is, uh, it has to be a lot wider than the actual barrel of the, of the gun. So how you achieve that is uh, you could just have one wide tube and stick it on, but that's going to be very unstable. So what I did was uh, I used two tubes. So what happens here is uh, you make uh, once you've made your gun and you know how wide the barrel is, uh, you take another uh, piece of paper and you roll it around the barrel. So it's just a little bit wider than the barrel. So as you can see right there, it just slides onto the barrel and it's a little bit wider. So it sits on top of it. Okay. There's two tubes. So once you've made uh, that inside tube, uh, you just uh, tape it up and uh, you make sure uh, that you have the right length that you want. And then uh, you have the main tube that goes around your gun. Now what you do is you make another tube, which is wider, and you can choose how wide you want it to be. If you want it to be a really wide suppressor, then you can do that. Or if you want it to be smaller, you can do that. Then basically, once you've made the, the next tube, uh, you make it to the same length as the first one. And uh, you have two tubes. Now comes the tricky part. The tricky thing is, how do you attach both the tubes together? Because uh, as you can see here, they're just kind of free floating. They're not fully and securely attached. So what I did was, uh, you just take the outside tube, you put some tape on top, or you could, uh, it's easier if you start off with the inside tube. You take that, you put some tape on the side of the tube. So if there's the inside tube, uh, you just put, uh, you make sure your strip of tape is lying like on the tube like this. So it comes off down the tube and uh, just keep uh, stretching it out. So uh, it's halfway stuck on the tube and it's like you have a bit more. So then whatever you have left, you fold it, uh, you like bend it back the other way. And then you stick it that, whatever is on the outside of this, you stick it onto the outside tube. So basically in here you have like, uh, the tape starts off on the inner tube, goes goes down into the thing, bends around, sticks to the inside of the outer tube, and comes back up. And then I just uh, like fold it over the edge. So you just do that a couple of times, uh, maybe like twice or uh, three times if you can. But it, it gets pretty hard. So uh, it it takes a bit of like uh, finesse and skill to like uh, tape it. So uh, maybe like just two pieces of tape on either end of it and that should hold it fairly steady like right now I, I, that's all I have and uh, this is like fairly steady as you can see there's a bit of wiggle in it but uh, it's it's not really going anywhere you can push it up and down but that's just how it is so it's kinda like uh, there's two tubes and they're almost floating inside each other except they're they're taped together so again what you do is just tape the outside of the inside tube the outer edge of the inside tube, tape it to the inner edge of the outside tube. And there you go, that's how you make a silencer.